Don't Touch It leads now on the round of the final flight and has quickly got the better of Bo Moam. Way back in third is Lip Service, then Waterville Rock and Jack the Wire, but it's Don't Touch It, the leader, coming down towards the final flight and has gone right away safely over the last Don't Touch It. Bo Moan over second and then Lip Service, Waterville Rock and Jack the Wire and racing up towards the finish. It is Don't Touch It who's going to get off the mark after two good seconds running up towards the line now and Don't Touch It and Barry Gerty went clearly and hands down at that bow moment on the inside just second from lip service Waterville Rock four and five Jack the wire and then Munstead pride and cut it out next don't touch it leads now on the round of the final flight and has quickly got the better of Bo Moam. Way back in third is Lip Service, then Waterville Rock and Jack the Wire, but it's Don't Touch It, the leader, coming down towards the final flight and has gone right away safely over the last Don't Touch It. Bo Moan over second and then Lip Service, Waterville Rock and Jack the Wire and racing up towards the finish. It is Don't Touch It who's going to get off the mark after two good seconds, running up towards the line now and Don't Touch It and Barry Gerty went clearly and hands down at that bow moam on the inside just second from lip service waterville rock four and five jack the wire and then munstead pride and cut it out next Racing now for the final flight, and as they begin to straighten up for it, at Atwell Phil, Brian Cooper chased by Acapella Bourgeois and Jonathan Burke, but there's three lengths between them. Racing down towards the final flight, and it's at Atwell Phil and Brian Cooper stretching out now, coming down towards the last. At Atwell Phil over and clear. Acapella Bourgeois has no more to give, and these are clear of the remainder and running up towards the finish now. At Atwell Phil is going to follow up his course victory here on St. Stephen's Day as again. And Willie Mullen supplies the winner. It's Atwell Phil who wins it well. Racing now for the final flight and as they begin to straighten up for it, Atwell Phil, Brian Cooper chased by Acapella Bourgeois and Jonathan Burke but there's three lengths between them. Racing down towards the final flight and it's Atwell Phil and Brian Cooper stretching out now, coming down towards the last. Atwell Phil over and clear. Acapella Bourgeois has no more to give and these are clear of the remainder and running up towards the finish now. Atwell Phil is going to follow up his course victory here on St. Stephen's Day as again Willie Mullen supplies the winner it's Atwell Phil who wins it well A Cappella Bourgeois second Woodland Opera third and Chain Gang four Cardinal Palace and Cheeto Straightening up now for the final fence, and it's Duvan out in front of, in second place, Velvet Maker, reminders for Doomsday Book, and coming down towards the final fence, Duvan not extending his lead, but has the measure of Velvet Maker over the last, and Duvan over and clear from Velvet Maker and Doomsday Book, and on the run in, it's Duvan, and Ruby Walsh has just had a look back, and he's going right away now from Velvet Maker, and Duvan had this one a long way out as he strides out up to the line to win the Frank Ward solicitor's Arkel Novice chase and maintains his unbeaten record over fences. A joy to watch. Do Van Clear from Velvet Maker and Doomsday Book. Straightening up now for the final fence, and it's Duvan out in front of, in second place, Velvet Maker, reminders for Doomsday Book, and coming down towards the final fence, Duvan not extending his lead, but has the measure of Velvet Maker over the last, and Duvan over and clear from Velvet Maker and Doomsday Book, and on the run in, it's Duvan, and Ruby Walsh has just had a look back, and he's going right away now from Velvet Maker, and Duvan had this one a long way out as he strides out up to the line to win the Frank Ward's Alistair's Arkel Novice chase and maintains his unbeaten record over fences. A joy to watch. Duvan Clear from Velvet Maker and Doomsday Book. They're on the run down towards the final fence and it's the Mooch, the leader, chased by Just Get Cracking and then comes Eileen Nikoska, 40 foot Tom at the final fence now and Just Get Cracking on the near side gone there is Eileen Nikoska and it's Just Get Cracking who goes to the front now from the Mooch, 40 foot Tom and then Finney and Treat Yourself and O'Donoghue's Opera running up towards the finish, Just Get Cracking and Paul Town in from the Mooch coming back between them is 40 foot Tom they're going close home now and who's chin to? And the mooch on the near side might just have got back. 
They run the run down towards the final fence, and it's the Mooch, the leader, chased by Just Get Cracking. And then comes Eileen the Corsica, 40 foot Tom, at the final fence now. And Just Get Cracking on the near side. Gone there is Eileen the Corsica, and it's Just Get Cracking who goes to the front now from the Mooch, 40 foot Tom. And then Finney and Treat Yourself and O'Donoghue's Opera running up towards the finish. Just Get Cracking and Paul Town in from the Mooch, coming back between them is 40 foot Tom. They're going close home now. And who's chin to? And the Mooch on the near side might just have got back in a rousing finish with Just Get Cracking, then 40 for Tom, followed in by Finney and O'Donoghue's Opera. And up is Dennis Hogan. A good run now to the final flight, and it's Faheen the leader, and is apparently travelling like a dream, racing down towards the final flight. Faheen is clear from Arctic Fire, and in third place, Nichols Canyon, racing now towards the final flight, and Faheen and Ruby Walsh are ten lengths in front of Arctic Fire and Nichols Canyon, and over the last, oh, he, Faheen untidy, but he's clear from Arctic Fire, and racing up towards the finish. Faheen has undoubtedly settled the score with Nichols Canyon, as the Top hurdler around wins his first PHP Insurance's hardest champion hurdle. Faheen all the way, a very easy winner. And it's Faheen the leader and is apparently travelling like a dream, racing down towards the final flight. Faheen is clear from Arctic Fire and in third place, Nichols Canyon, racing now towards the final flight. And Faheen and Ruby Walsh are ten lengths in front of Arctic Fire and Nichols Canyon. And over the last, oh, Faheen untidy, but he's clear from Arctic Fire and racing up towards the finish. Faheen has undoubtedly settled the score with Nichols Canyon as the top hurdler around wins his first PHP Insurance's hardest champion hurdle. Faheen all the way, a very easy winner. Second is Arctic Fire. Third is Nickens Canyon as Willie Mullen sweeps the floor, the one, two, three. And back in fourth place is going to be tight. King of the picks on the near side of Plinth. Coming down towards the final fence in the Colors Bar Handicap, and it's barely League of the Leader from Cape Supreme on the near side. Followed then by Upstager, he rocks on the Shannon over the last. It's barely legal in front. Chased up the run in by Cape Supreme. They're racing now well inside the final 200 yards. Barely legal from Cape Supreme in second. A couple of legs between them, then on the Shannon, who's running on in the center of the track. And Adam is next, but it's barely legal out in front as they run towards the finish. And barely legal, and Dunhamiler will land. It from Cape Supreme and on the Shannon, close second and third, then he rocks, Mr. First and Ad Idem. Coming down towards the final fence in the Colors Bar Handicap, and it's barely league of the leader from Cape Supreme on the near side. Followed then by Upstager, he rocks on the Shannon over the last, it's barely legal in front. Chased up the run in by Cape Supreme. They're racing now well inside the final 200 yards. Barely legal from Cape Supreme in second. A couple of legs between them, then on the Shannon, who's running on in the center of the track. And Adam is next, but it's barely legal out in front as they run towards the finish. And barely legal, and Dunhamiler will let from Cape Supreme and on the Shannon, close second and third, then he rocks, Mr. First and Ad Idem. Passing the two, Village Mystic with Jack Dillinger trying to deliver a challenge on the near side. They've shaken off the attentions of Black Warrior. Now they race to the final furling and a half. On the rail is Village Mystic, Jack Dillinger on the near side. They have it between them now, leaning out is Jack Dillinger. And Village Mystic on the rail is now three lengths clear from Jack Dillinger, clear of the remainder. And running up towards the finish, Village Mystic is going to cap off a brilliant day for Willie Mullins as his son Patrick wins on Village Mystic. Mystic, who gets off the a winning start, beats Jack Dillinger, Lakeside Castle from the back third, and then Black Warrior. Passing the two, Village Mystic with Jack Dillinger, trying to deliver a challenge on the near side. They've shaken off the attentions of Black Warrior. Now they race to the final furling and a half. On the rail is Village Mystic, Jack Dillinger on the near side. They have it between them now, leaning out is Jack Dillinger, and Village Mystic on the rail is now three lengths clear from Jack Dillinger, clear of the remainder, and running up towards the finish. Village Mystic is going to cap off a brilliant day for Willie Mullins as his son Patrick wins on Village 
Mystic, who gets off the a winning start, beats Jack Dillinger, Lakeside Castle from the back third, and then Black Warrior.